Okay, guys, I am back. I hope you're back as well. We were interrupted by a phone call. I hate when that happens. I have the do not disturb on. I don't know why it happens, but be sure and hit the thumbs up as you walk in the door. Tell your friends if they're still over on the other video to come on to this one. This is part two, and hopefully we'll get through. Oh, look at that cute little dolphin. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. He's carrying a little crystal-like ball there. I love it. Look at that. Thanks, guys, for coming back. That was weird. It happens every time I get a phone call, and I had it on Do Not Disturb. I did not have the ringer off. Maybe that's why, but sometimes even when I have the ringer off, it comes on, and it doesn't ring, but it still disrupts my, my streams. I don't know why my live streams get disrupted every time. Hi, Key Lime Kisses. How are you? Hey, Elizabeth. I'm glad you're here. We're opening this massive jar, guys. It's a big bag. $50 is what I paid for it. And I may have gotten a, a discount. I don't remember. We weren't very far. We had a few earrings. You'll have to watch part one and part two. And be sure and um, share the video if you can. Guys, this is gorgeous. But he's missing a green eye. But I think I could replace it. I think I could replace it with another eye, even if we have to do blue eyes or brown eyes or gold eyes because he's really cute and he's made nicely. He's heavy. I can't get enough of these gecko lizards. They're so cute. All right, so we'll put that in the repair lot. Let's go on this side. Needs eyes. We got a peace sign, just a little silver tone ring. Going in a crafter lot. Okay. And we did get a match on these dolphins. Good, good, good. Dolphins are matched up. These we had also found earlier. Little dangles. Oh, I had noticed that some other pearl there in the middle. I thought they were all silver. That's pretty. And I like the way they have a long chain like thing first. Slide a little bit to the back here. Okay, maybe that'll help with the lighting. I think the lighting is a little off today. That's pretty though, I like that. We have a black earring and a red earring. Let's see if we match those. Oh, we were in the middle of this thing. That can be interchanged. But the stars are kind of cool by themselves. So we'll put that in the gold earrings and see if the other one doesn't show up. We do have, see, this is what the other ring looked like. <laughs> These are so funny, I have to look them up. They have a very interesting design and they're marked $27. So now I have three. I found this one in the other jar. This one's actually nicer looking, I think. I don't know, they're very strange. They look very tribal to me. So I'm definitely gonna have to put these over here so I can do some comps on those. All right, here's a pretty earring. These are plastic, but they don't look like it. And they have some nice cage design beads there as well. That's really pretty. All right, 26 people came back after that horrible interruption. I'm so glad you came back. Be sure and hit the thumbs up again, guys. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. We do a lot of jewelry talk here, jewelry show and tell. I will show you what I find in the jewelry jars and um, what I hunt down at the Goodwills and other thrift stores or honey holes, which I haven't gone to because I've been kind of busy this month, but I need to go. Maybe I'll go tomorrow. I'm going to try to go live from there so you guys can take a look at some of the places I go to. So I love doing ride-alongs. I also have a ride along, I'm gonna actually call it a day in the life or something because it's kind of a mosh up video, kind of like the ones I used to do, where I'm gonna show you what I sold in jewelry, where how I shipped or whatnot, and just maybe a little ride along footage because I have all of these accumulated videos that I haven't been um, uploading lately and I, they're starting to get a little stale, so I have to put those together. I hope you enjoy them. And because I'm also selling a lot of jewelry in my auctions that a lot of them haven't made it to the Just Jewelry Just Sold videos. But I'll try to get that. Here's a busted chain. And that other chain is very pretty. This one here. I love pink.
This is really nice. This needs a good cleaning only because it feels a little sticky, but the coloration is still very pretty. So I need to get a little pile of my cleaning section done. Another pink one. This one's pretty. Got some pretty colors today, pinks and purples. I hope those match up. The ones that I haven't quite matched up that I'm really liking, I'm putting kind of on the side. Here's a pretty earring. Gold tone. These earrings are so fragile. They just come apart easily. And look, these look like they didn't finish them. They forgot to put the green on the other one. But we'll see, maybe they, maybe they did two pairs. <clears throat> A bolo tie, and it's just silver tone, china. That's interesting. I'll probably put that in a crafter lot. That's kind of cool. The bolo is not leather, though, so it's got a wrinkly feel to it. So I'm going to put that in a crafter lot because that's a nice embellishment there. Looks like 35 people are here. Guys, thanks so much for joining me back after that glitch we had over there with that phone call that always happens so i know it won't come back every time it goes black well this is a little tangled up anchor very cute nice metal on it really just a simple anchor i'm going to untangle that later so we can move on but that's pretty it's a good uh, weighty piece actually here are some pearl cords. These are the cord type. And this one does have a hook with a dangle. I thought they both had the dangle, so I thought they were cords. But no, they're just kind of ropey pearls. That's pretty. Yeah, I think the anchor's nice. Very nice. Okay, here's a caged, kind of a caged heart with a tassel. That's pretty. On a nice chain. I wonder if it opens. No, it's just a, it's really that nice scroll work too. I don't know if you guys can see it very well, but it's got some nice designs. Hi, Jameson's Closet. How are you? This is a pretty one. I like it. I brought out a lot of tassel earring, I mean, a lot of tassel jewelry the other day, and it was well received because it's still very popular. And it just looks so pretty. I think it's it's a kind of a, what do you call it? Like a massive market. Like it's something that everyone can wear. The young people are loving it. And any, any age, really, they're enjoying that tassel. Kendra Scott style jewelry. And not everyone can, can afford to walk into a Kendra Scott and buy those, you know, really expensive pieces. But they're doing some good imitations. This is pretty too, a little gold tone, multiple colors there. Is Vanessa in here? I hear some, there you are, Vanessa. I saw somebody say hello to you. Hey, I think this is amber, guys. This is cool. Look at this one. That looks like amber in there. I don't know what this substance is. On this interesting necklace let's check it out oh my gosh it's even got a skull in there these are interesting not really a skull these more look more like tiki don't they little totems or something maybe oh yeah these are pretty guys look at that tiger eye looks like amethyst in there for sure Lots of pretty things on this, and these look like little Cheerios. <laughs> but they have a, you know, organic feel to them, so I'm not sure what they are. They look like owls. No, they're, they're little faces, and they're on both sides. That's cool. That is really cool. Take a look at that. That is nice. That's probably adventuring there. There is some amethyst. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe um, carnelian, could it be? Look at the black ones. 
And then there's clear quartz right in here too, guys. Oh, not all the way up. I think it stops about midway. But those are really nice. I like that. 46 people, 17 thumbs up. Be sure and hit that thumbs up, guys. It really helps in the search when people are looking for videos about jewelry jars. Your thumb, your thumb really helps boost this channel up, and I really appreciate it. So there's no clasp. This is like a clear quartz. Yeah. I'm loving this. This is cool. This is really a cool piece. Really nice. I don't know what this is. Please let me know if you know anything about this. It, I mean, it feels like wood. It could be wood. That's what I'm thinking. It's possibly wood beads with just lots of beautiful organic natural stones. Love it. Really like that. Yeah, it's very interesting. It's the kind of piece you want to put on. <laughs> I don't know why, but you do. Or I do. Okay, here are some bangles. We have a gold braided bangle. We have another bangle. They're a little worn. They were probably copper based, so they're starting to show their copper. but they're pretty, they have a nice color. I kind of like the way the copper looks when it seeps through anyway, especially when it's actually not like a, a golden color, but more like a, more like a brass or a bronze. Okay, we have a braided chain here. I wouldn't mind taking off that fabric. I don't think it really adds much to it. I don't know, it's hard to put on. Maybe if I unhooked it, right? It's very heavy, though. It's kind of pretty, though. It kind of gives off a Lily Pulitzer or something look. Okay. What else is in here? Some matched up earrings. I love that they're matching up the earrings for us, though these don't look that impressive. They are very worn out. When they're this bad, I, I really do have to trash them because this one has verdigris. So I'm gonna put these over here. Quarantine those. <gasps> what is this? Oh my gosh, how cute is this? It's a little baby bottle. And this is crystal. Oh, that is too cute. That's so perfect for a new dad or mom. <laughs> I love it. That is not plastic, guys. That is crystal. That is adorable. Those facets are amazingly done to really give it the shape of a bottle. Oh, I don't know any new, new moms lately, but that's so cute. I'd have to save that. That is too pretty. That even stands up. How cool is that? Yes, for a diaper bag. You're right, Kathy. That'd be a great zipper pull for a diaper bag. And I'm going to bring you guys some um, fabulous keychains that I found to my auction. I've been wanting to bring them, and I keep forgetting where I leave them because there's some really pretty ones from Whitey and Davis and Victoria's Secret and all kinds. So I have, I think I told you guys last time that I was trying to open up the group from a secret group to a closed group. So now you can just go to all of my Facebook links that are in any of my videos and um through that one you can now see Thelma Thrift's members only page and you can request to join so it's a closed group now it's no longer a secret group so you will be able to see it um in order to request to be a member and I have been talking about that for a while but I couldn't figure out how to do it then finally it did it for me this is a gorgeous bracelet I love it so please be sure and do that if you want to see the auctions on Saturdays. They are every Saturday at 5 p.m. They usually run two to three hours depending on my schedule. But uh, we have fun over there. This is cute. I like it. That's a really nice um, stacker, what I call a stacker, that will look good with other pieces. Very cute. I like that bracelet. I slipped that one, but right on. Okay. Here we have a uh, Pandora style. Cute, cute, cute. I wish my Pandora looked like this. 
because uh, I love the little rhinestone crystals on here. And I love the ballerina and the little margarita or champagne or whatever your beverage of choice is. <laughs> Martini. These are cute. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Little heart dangle, gold tongue dangle inside another heart, a palm tree. Oh my gosh, that's a cute bracelet. I may have to send that to my granddaughter. She may like that. It's going to be a little big on her, but it'll fit one day. <laughs> Just until she can take care of a real Pandora, right? So those Pandoras are high. Thank you so much, Olga. I appreciate that. Here are some pearls. It looks like we've got real pearls and then some faux pearls. And the faux pearls are a... Oh, these actually look real too, guys. Let me look in here. This is a little memory wire. Yeah, these are real too. These are cute. See, I'm going to stack it over here with this one. I'll show you what I mean by stacking these things. That is cute. Cute, cute, cute. I love that one. 50 people in the chat. Let me go back and say hello to a couple of people. La Vintage Gypsy. Is it LA Vintage? or It is La, right? La Vintage Gypsy. I love it. John's channel. Kathy, of course. I said hello earlier. Teresa at T. Marie Gallery. Kitty's Creations. And Julian Gonzalez. I think I said hello to her. Arito Jules. That is Lydia. How are you, Miss Lydia? Good to see you. I have an aunt named Lydia. I love that name, too. Hi, Thelma. Okay. Thank you guys so much. I'm reading out loud. Sorry. Reading and thinking out loud. All right. Darlene Buckland is here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right. Let's continue with the treasure hunt. And I'm really glad you found me back over here after that glitch over there. Adelaide Garland is, is here as well. And I think I said hello to Donatella as well. Okay, I see some other pearl here. I want to dig. See, this is what happens. I want to dig where I see something, and then I pull out tangles. But, you know, eh, that's that's the nature of the beast here. And I haven't look, finished looking at those pearls. There. Look at that. Oh, I love abalone. That is a nice dangle. I hope we get the match. Oh, gosh. And I love these cascading waterfall style of anything. <laughs> The necklaces or the earrings, they're amazing. I hope we find a match. All right, here's a pearl. Gold tone tangled up with this other. This is cute. That's a nice piece. I love pearls. I really do. I think they're one of the prettiest pieces of nature ever. Here are the um, illusion pearls. These are all potato pearls or freshwater pearls. I love it. This is pretty. It's just one strand, multicolored. I may put that on. Is that on? That's just on silver tone, I believe. But let me double check. Thank you so much, Donatella. I really appreciate it. Donatella. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I know the accents on the peninsula syllable. So I try with my Italian, but I'm not that good. I keep practicing, though. And I do watch a lot of Italian videos. Because I try to hone my skills. I took two years of Italian. And uh, as you know, Spanish is pretty similar in many things, especially in the conjugation. So I love it. Oh, look at this, guys. Some wings. One wing. An angel wing. Thank you. Good. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I hope I'm saying it right. Hi, Tammy. Look, some angel wings. Or there could be some Harley wings. It depends on your state of mind. My husband would say those are those are eagle wings for Harley riders. But that's cute. Very cute. Okay, another watch. Geneva. This almost looked like a little Brighton. It's pretty, though. It's a cute one. Okay. We have some green crystals. Green crystal dangles. Pretty. Let me stick that in the silver box over there. Ooh, this almost looks like a James Avery. They do an anchor thing like this, but I don't... And look at that pretty leather. 
That's cool. I don't see. Yep. Oh, bingo. Yay. Oh, bingo. It's James Avery. Oh, my goodness. I'm so happy I recognize a lot of the James Avery styles, guys, because this would have passed a lot of people up. <laughs> Check it out. Oh, my gosh. I'm super excited. And this time, I'm going to price it accordingly. I always find these leather things, and I just forget that some of them are retired guys and they are definitely garnering good money there it is ja candelabra love it this is a gentleman's bracelet it is so sweet and yeah it's got and of course they always bring the symbolism of what the anchor means in christianity and all of that they all have a little story i'll have to look it up this is definitely a gentleman's bracelet james avery yeah when i saw that extra work on that bracelet that braid i thought now nah, let me look at this one and see whoops i got so excited i tumbled my thing there this is so cool i love the jewelry i really like their gentleman's jewelry too yeah last time i found i think it was the cross and it was in a leather thing like this and um it was also the gentleman's variety leather I believe it was a, uh, it was the rugged cross, which looked like a wood, you know, like a really rugged um, wood cross. And I sold that on the Kari. But I'll have to check and see what these are going for because of the anchor is awesome, isn't it? It's so thick. It is cool. Yay! So James Avery in the house today. Nice. You guys brought me luck. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. 61 people here. Be sure and hit that thumbs up. This is already a score, guys, uh, at $49, which what I paid, I can easily sell that for probably $50 to $60, my estimation, maybe higher, but no less than $50 to $60 will this garner over on Macari, eBay, and even Posh. Nice. I'm excited. <gasps> Hacking the permission rights off the page and making themselves admin, then kicking the admins out of the group. What? What's going on? What are y'all discussing? Let me see. Yes. Can you, are you talking to someone in there, Kay? And I hope it's not about my group because I have some trustworthy moderators in my Facebook. People that I've known for a, a while and, and have proven themselves to be trustworthy people. So let me know if you do see some shenanigans here or there. Uh, oh, these are cute, guys. I know Vanessa doesn't like red jewelry. I do. I, I do like it. I think they're pretty. All right. Jewelry, jewelry, jewelry. Uh, yeah. Just a warning since I made it closed instead of secret that hacking the permission rights of the page and making themselves admins, then kicking the admins out. Oh, okay. Well, I appreciate that. And uh, Vanessa's an admin. Uh, Jude is not here. She's an admin, and they're pretty aware of what's going on but we will definitely keep an eye out thank you so much for that i know there's hacking going on here too guys i was very very taken aback and i hate to bring back bad news but i will warn you guys if you do make content check your playlist because two videos were added to my playlist from two different youtube creators who that that um that are known in the community. I don't know if one or both, well, I know one of them because I've already spoken to them, um, is not to blame. And I don't know if the other was the culprit or if someone on the outside just came in and, and got their videos and put them on my playlists. So I'm having to go back to five years of playlists to look there because, you know, it's just not fair that I'm the one that, that puts the work into my playlists and uh, for someone else to come and put their videos that have nothing to do with my playlist and makes me look like a fool. But that, that is happening. And if it can happen with a playlist, it can happen with a bank account. <laughs> so, you know, we just always have to be leery and wary. And unfortunately, there are people that, um, that like to do that kind of thing. So I do appreciate that. But the reason I made it a closed group, and again, we are, you know, trying to keep a close eye on it is because people were having a hard time seeing their invitations 
And uh, I just couldn't invite the people who had been asking me to invite them. And, you know, everyone is trustworthy until they're proven otherwise. And that's the way I see things. This is wood. It has a very nice clasp. So that's what I'm doing. Until they prove themselves otherwise to me. Because, you know, we could go on and on with uh, all of the the web here of people who don't get along, people who turn on each other. One day you're, you know, teacher's pet. The next day you're ostracized. So you just never know. And I can't keep track of it all. But I know that in my own case, I, I trust people until they prove me otherwise. And then they're, they're out of my life and out of my chats and, you know, wherever. These are cool. I'm glad we got a match on these. These are very pretty. Put those in an earring lot. But it is a, um, a club, and uh, all you have to do is request to, to join it. These are ceramic. They're pretty heavy. And that is my Facebook. Facebook members only auction and sale. My public page is Thelma. Thelma Thrift uh, Top Shelf Exchange. That's a public page that everyone can see. Okay, lots of belts in here. This is where the weight came in. Oh my gosh, this is huge. I could pull a car with this. This thing is humongous. Wow, and it looks like it's even broken. It's in two pieces, yeah. That is broken. What is here? A magnet? Oh, a little magnet of a boy or girl. I think they're, I think they're praying or reading a book. I can't quite tell. Or maybe it's just a magnet that's no. Yeah, there it is. It's just a little magnet. I don't know where that went. That'll go on a crafter piece. Crafter piece for a crafter lot. Yes, I will ship to Canada according to the prices for for shipping so absolutely i've shipped to australia several times no problem the customer knows that um, it's expensive a lot more expensive to uh, ship to australia so as long as everyone is aware of that it's not a problem for me to ship to other countries all right i'm gonna put this in a crafter lot somebody can do something with that to already in pieces. Hey Kelly, how are you? This is plastic, little bangle. And this is a gold bangle ring. It looks like it belonged to something else. I don't know. We have a Macy's tag here. Let's see what's at the end of it. Oh, this is cute. Oh, let me clean off some. This is so annoying, guys, when it gets dirty. But then the dark cloth has its problems, too. Believe me, I look at the replay, and I'm like, would you please clean that off? It looks disgusting. But it just happens. Every bag will do this. Mary Ann Swanson, how are you? I'm glad you're back again. Okay, what? That magnet got caught in here. Oh, my goodness. Okay, i put this magnet over there. This is cute. It's got a web design. Very nice. Very pretty colors. Kind of a Tiffany blue color there. I love that. That's cute. And that was originally $32, guys, at Macy's. Might have even been cheaper. On sale, rather. Very nice. Not intended for children under 12. <laughs> That's funny that they have to put that there. This looks like a Napier or Monet for some reason, but it's got verdigris. I may clean that one because it's got one spot there. Yeah, it is marked. It looks like it might say Monet or Napier. Let's see. Napier. Napier does a lot of beadwork. I recognized it. I'm going to clean this one up, though, because that's pretty. That one's worth cleaning. So, anyway, as I was saying, um, the auctions are on Saturday at 5 
p.m. on Facebook, and it is a closed group now. And, uh, you know, we talk about the ins and outs of the group once you're there. So just to let you know, you go to my Facebook, you can request to be a part of the closed group. Go to my public page, and you can request to be a part of my closed group. Okay, more of these hoops that are very worn. So I'm going to put them apart and probably recycle them. <laughs> recycle them in the metal bin that I have outside. Okay, we did have this match right here. This one stood right out, so I'll put it together. Here we go. Oh, look at this. This is cute. Guys, this bag was big. I hope you guys brought a snack or a drink at least. This is pretty. I like that. It's a nice bold piece. How do you look it up on Facebook? It's Thelma Thrift Members Only Auction and Sale. And I shared it in Thelma Thrift uh, Top Shelf Exchange. So if you find either one, if you look around on that page, you may find where I did share the... I didn't share the link. Well, maybe I did share the link. Shared something where you can actually see it now because it wasn't um, visible to the public as a secret group. You had to wait for an email and so forth. So now you can actually see it, but you can't see what's going on until you become accepted as a part of the group. Here is kind of a tiger eye looking piece on a, on a snake chain. <clears throat> Excuse me. 30 people have put the thumbs up after 60 people came in. Guys, can you go over there and put that thumbs up? You just have to leave the chat for just a second. Go over by the screen and hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, I hope you'll do so today. I try to put up content at least three times a week. You'll see a lot of these unjarrings. You'll see some ride-alongs. Some will be recorded. Some will be live. Either way, I think you'll enjoy the content here. And don't forget to hit the bell. So you can be notified when they do go live or when there's a new one. These are pretty, guys. Mother of Pearl. Wood beads. Very cool. Nice ones there. We did get a match on this one. It's a little worn, though, so I think I'm going to put it in a crafter lot. I have so much glare on those really shiny ones. I need to work on that lighting for you guys. This is cute, too. A little dangle with drops of crystal-like, but they are plastic earrings. This one says Sith. I believe that's what it says. Looks like polymer clay. Nice necklace, though. This is a cord. It really looks like leather, but it's just cord, some kind of cording. And I don't know what it means. This looks like a croc design in the back and then it says Sith hmm. that they're coming out so now I have two orange ones tagged it's so funny I don't get it but I'm going to find out what the attraction is with those alright here's some what appear to be natural stones as well I see mother of pearl in there nice hoops Hi, Carla. Wiseman, how are you? Yeah, there's a lot of matching things in here that work well with others for sure. I like this one too. This is a pretty glass one, guys. That is a nice, smoky, almost a whiskey color, really. Hope we get the match to that one too. And what else do we have? We have some pearls again. Some, oh, we did get a match on these. Good, good, good. These are cute. I think my daughter would like those. Those are very pretty. I like those. I'm gonna set those aside, see if she likes them. And what are these? These things are fabulous. They hold the earrings on, but then they get stuck with the other ones. Okay, they had them matched up. Nice. 
These are crystal little mini chandeliers. Cute. Very cute. Those are pretty. Got a lot of shine there. I like those too. Here's an earring that popped up. I don't recognize it as anything. I think it's, um, what is that? Kind of a blossom design? Guys, let me go get my plug. I just realized I'm not plugged in. Be right back. Talk amongst yourselves for a second. My serger. I had to add two sergers because I'm starting to. I'm going to start using my scale close by here when I'm showing jewelry on my auctions. And I had to plug it in. I brought in some more sergers, and then I still didn't plug in my phone, even though I had it ready to to do. Crazy. All right. Oh, these are cute, and we do have a match. These are super pretty in this purple. Pearl, are you still here? Here's your color. So, so cute. Oh, those are darling. And then we did get a match on these. Purple as well. These are plastic. Pretty drops, too. Very nice. These are matched, too, with the little cobra chain. Cool beans. Uh, I like these. These are kind of a hammered look. Big hoop as well. These are cute. I wonder if these aren't silver. Let me look a little closer at this. They almost look like it. I don't see anything. Where's the magnet? Nope, they stick. They stick, but they're pretty anyway. We got like a little bearing or something. A nice heavy little bead there. We have a key. Get all kinds of things in these jars. Sometimes we get things we don't bargain for. Oh, this is cute. That's the cloisonne bead. That was nice. These are crystal as well. These are nice, very nice earrings. Cool. All right, now we have a purple, no, not purple, orange. Why am I thinking purple? Cute golden sun looking. I like this one a lot. Mother of pearl in its natural, and then here it was dyed kind of a golden color. Very pretty. Very, very nice. All right, big dangle, tinny type earrings. Probably put those in a crafter lot. More of these kitty bangles. Got a few of those already. And I got another braided one. Here's a big one. This is interesting. Isn't that cool? It's got an interesting chain here. It's got a nice pearl. It looks like a natural pearl. Almost looks like silver. Let's look at this closer, guys. This is cool. Looks like a glass stone. I don't see. I don't know. Could be topaz, but it's kind of really, really clear. Let's see if the jump ring says anything. Okay, the jump ring does say 925, and the, the bracelet is very, very heavy. It looks like sterling to me. I'll test it. Could very well. It's very heavy too. Nice and weighty. I don't see a mark yet. Let me check at the magnet. Then we'll test it later. If you have any doubts, this magnet is strong. It attracts everything. <laughs> it gets my scissors from across the room almost. And it is not attracting this bracelet. 
shapes. So I really have a feeling it's sterling. That's awesome. I love it. I'm going to test it. As soon as I find my little scratch stone, I misplaced it the other day. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Yeah, that's a nice piece. I like the way they did that safety chain there, too. Okay, let's take off some of the other stuff. <laughs> so you can see it. so cute that's so different what a modernist design and all don't you think oh my goodness i love the emerald cut yeah i could swear that is sterling that is awesome just gonna look a little farther a little further rather for the mark but um the jump ring is definitely marked isn't that darling guys i love 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 this thing so two cool items so far. I mean, two amazing things so far. Lots of good stuff in here, I would say. For $49, not bad at all. Here is one of these. What does it say? It says, oh, it's got a lot of, like, style numbers, but they were selling it for $26. So obviously it's some natural stones of some sort. Lots of green and black variation in that. What do you guys think? I'll let you look at the tag. Maybe you can read it. It looks to me just like style numbers or, you know, inventory numbers. These are cool. They feel good. Uh, this is a bracelet. It is expandable. So very nice. That's very cool. Another ring. Now it's in green. They really loaded up this bag with it. This is cute in lime. Not too bad. Someone must love this design. I just know it. Yeah, that bracelet's awesome. Okay, what's this? A little tinny kind of earring. Not very heavy metal there at all. Not very big at all on those. Okay. Here we have some more bangles glitter variety these are kind of costumey oh look we did get the match on these nice these are right or is this more pink no they look different look one's more orange than the other oh my goodness well hopefully they'll both be in there this one's more of a purple and this is definitely a whiskey bourbon wild turkey stuff there that's the color of that one all right hope we find them both that would be fabulous we did get a match on this big hoop. Another addition to the airing lot. Cool. What is this? This looks like a Stella and Dot. Oh, that's pretty. That really looks, this is glass, guys. It's not plastic. It looks like that Chalcedony or something. I don't know. Ooh, nice. Or a Kendra Scott. Let me see if it doesn't have any kind of mark on it. Let me look up close, okay? I'll let you look close, too. Then I'll let me get my loop. Thanks, guys, for hitting the thumbs up. It looks like we're equating the amount of people that are in the chat. So I really appreciate that. Again, you just have to go over by the screen and hit the little thumb there, the one that's pointing up. Oh, my goodness. This is so cute. None of the stones are missing on the other one. It looks like a copper base. That's cute. That's very cute. That kind of re reminds me of that big ring that I found last time that takes three fingers. You guys remember? That And it has like a Chalcedony stone as well. I don't know if it's real or not, but that one looks good. That one looks nice. I'll have to study Chalcedony a little bit, a little bit more. We did get a match on this one. We had a huge bangle. Oh, my goodness. This is big. This is, oh, gosh, no struggle at all with that one. That is big. Look at these red hoops. These are kind of cute. They really are. I really like them. Not bad. I've never seen red hoops. Not that thin. Sometimes the colored ones are wider, aren't they? Okay, we did get a match on this one. I remember seeing this earlier. I'm going to put it over here, though. We'll match them up later because we're going long on these. Okay, another one, red bead. 
Here's another natural looking one. This, I don't know what it is. Kind of a blue stone, a little brown stone. They look like little chips. Interesting. Champagne pearls, okay. These are crystal. This is Stella and Dot. I believe that's Stella. I already recognize their logo kind of off the bat. Yeah, Stella and Dot. Cute on this one too, guys. Look at that. Chains, crystals, and then the whatever you call the drawstring. If you guys know the, the right uh, name, please let us know in the comments. And come back and leave your comments when the video uploads and becomes some dormant so that we can know you know, as other people are watching, they can see read your comments. They're always so helpful. Here is red, cute red crystals on some cobra chain dangles. Very nice. Oh, here's the purple one. So we did get a match on the purpley ones. These are glass. These are pretty. Nice to have a match. Now I want to get the other whiskey colored ones because that I actually like that color even better. Okay. Here's some beads. I'll probably put this in my bead lot. Very colorful, very tribal looking. I like that as well. That over there. Here's some gold bangles. This one has stars. One is a lot bigger than the other. Shot. <laughs> hmm. What are y'all talking about, guys? Who said shot about what? <gasps> purple purple and crystal or rhinestones that's rich looking cute 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 purple bangles gold bangles I need to have my magnet close by though sometimes sometimes these are real gold those aren't though nice Oh, James Avery again, guys. I think this might be James Avery. I don't know. Because they do make one like this, but I'm not sure if it hooks like that. Maybe not. No, I think this is just an imitation. But they do make a plain hook-on bracelet like this. It's usually a little bit flatter, though. And it's usually hammered. So I don't think this is James Avery. But I'm going to... Because I see it. No, this is not. The James Avery is free. The charm just freely hangs there. This is a cute horn, though. It's a little mother of pearl horn with a rhinestone dangle. That's cute. And let me see what else we have here. We have another bracelet with lots of beads, different types. Button bracelet. That's cute. Let me see what else. Oh, they always have to throw in the glasses. Now I know where I got this one. This is the one on the other side of town. She always throws in glasses, and I'm like, why do you throw in glasses? And she says, well, my manager says this is an accessory bag. I'm like, okay. But we don't like the glasses. <laughs> These are actually kind of cute, though. <laughs> I like this style. This is a nice style, but they're probably scratched up and all. At least make them Kate Spade or something, people. Hey, they're Kate Spade. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I just said that. That is so weird that I said that, guys. These are Kate Spade. OMG. What? Oh, tell me positive doesn't work, guys. Tell me that it does not work because I think it does. These are Kate Spade. I thought they were cute. OMG. They are. Look, I hadn't even seen that it said Kate Spade there. I saw it in here, Kate Spade. Cool. Look at that. And then right there. And these definitely look genuine. They've got a lot of nice weight to them. <laughs> Let's just hope they're not too scratched. I know. You would think they would wrap them. But you know what? People really are clamoring for some of her accessories. So, yeah, these are definitely genuine Kate Spade. Wow. But when I said that... <laughs> Didn't know. I had no idea, but the style was nice. You know, I thought they were a very classic style. A little bit of a step down from the Jackie O. Hers were usually bigger, but definitely the same shape. 
of what Jackie Onassis used to wear. Jackie Kennedy Onassis. Oh my goodness. Kate Spade glasses, not bad. This is, this is weird. I think there was a watch in here. There was probably one of those Fitbits in here. Interesting. To put that in a crafter lot. That almost looks like stainless steel. Okay, I have a stretch. Very nice stretch. Champagne colored glass beads. So that's nice. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is cute. I like this. I like these types of rings. I think they're cute. That's a very nice one. Okay, here was another ring. This almost looked like a little Stella and Dot too. Let's see if I don't see any marking on the band. It is a gold tone. And I don't see a mark on it at all. It's just a little peridot color. <laughs> we did get a match on these. I think I told you guys we matched those up. Nice. Oh, this is cute. Opalite. I love that. That's so pretty. That is glass also. I got a faux opal there. This is on leather. Needs a, I don't know, maybe I could clean that up with some paper or something. Let me see if it doesn't say anything on it. Don't see any mark on it. It's just a cute costume piece. I was going to check and see if it didn't say Kendra or anything. I'm not sure about all her, but look, it matches the other one I found. That's cute. I like that. I'll have to send that to my granddaughter too. It's a cute one. All right, here's some kind of a medal. Someone earned a medal and someone else didn't care. All right, some silver hoops, more silver hoops. I don't think these are, this one's not sticking. Well, it's sticking from there, but not from there. So that's interesting. I'll have to take a look at that one. That might be sterling, let's see. This one looks like silver tone. That one's kind of cute, big, I mean small. <laughs> Not very big is what I was thinking. Kind of worn on this little chandelier piece. Put that in a crafter lot. <laughs> and we did get a match on these purple ones. It was purple today for sure, guys. We really saw a lot of purple here in this bag. There. I think these were made at home, but they're pretty. They have, I like the way they added the gunmetal at the bottom to the fringe. Very nice. All right, we did match these up. This little lotus or something. I don't know what kind of flower that is. Cool. We have a big, these are like the armbands, guys, that people were wearing back in the 90s and 80s and 70s and 60s, and every decade has done the armband. Bracelet, for sure. Okay, I like this. Okay, what, do we have three pairs of these? I know I've run into them at least three times. They're pretty, though. Okay, I like this. I don't know what it is, but I like anything with this color and these links. Might be about... Ivory, kind of enamel or acrylic belt here. Could be a necklace as well, I'm not sure. I think it's a necklace. Yeah, it's just an infinite chain, really cool. I like that. That's a nice one. And what else? We have a, an abalone. This is sterling. Nice. This almost looks like an anklet or a size 8 bracelet. Sterling pearls. Mother of... No, not mother of pearl. Abalone. Definitely genuine pearls. I can see that it's marked on the... On the, uh, the ring there. The jump ring. The clasp. So that's a nice score. Okay. We had James Avery... In the house, we've got sterling, we've got pearls, 
We got our money's worth for sure at $49. Minus the discount, which I think we did get on this one. There's the, the mark there. Very pretty. $16 was the original price. I don't know what DF means. Probably someone was selling them. It's big on me, though. It's probably an 8. Let's see. It slides right on. It's very cute. I like it. I have to bring that to the auction. Okay. Got a lot of little dangle earrings here. Plain bead. More there. We'll marry those later. We did get the snowflake. We did get the match on that one, too. Nice. Here's a pretty crystal champagne colored earring. Very pretty. I like that too. I would say that's gold tone, right? Even though the hook is silver tone. Here's a pretty one too. Just a little square or well, rectangle actually. Dangle. Hey Mike, how are you? Glad you're here. Okay, we've got a coil choker in I would say like a pearl color, almost a Tahitian, but this looks, I think it looks like it's almost losing its color or it needs cleaning. And I can't really tell if they're pearls because of that missing color without, you know, doing further testing. So we'll put that, I think I'll put that in the crafter lot. These are cute. We did find these earlier. I like these. Little crystal. Dangles, pretty. We got a big chain. Is this the okay? Finally, the chain got loose from that pile, and it is a bell. It has an L on it. That's a cute bell. My daughter would like this. She does wear these these little belts, and this is so pretty. Still very nice and gold, and yeah, it just has that logo like an L or a J. What do you think? That's all I see. That is a nice belt. Very nice. Oh, here's a gold earring attached. Let me take that off. So that's nice. This is really heavy. Oops. Oh my gosh. Sounded like a wreck out there. That's nice. I like it. Very, very nice. That's a heavy belt. Okay, here's the gold one. It's a hook on. It's very nice though, and that's an interesting hook. So I'm gonna take a close look at that hook, see if there's no mark on it. Because it's very short, it doesn't look like a typical hook. But I do see some wear on the hook. But, and as you know, gold doesn't really tarnish to the point of discoloration. But I'm just checking. The chain is nice on it, too. I like that. Oops. The needles are sticking. All right, Magnet, behave. No sticking, guys. I'm going to look at this further. It could be a low grade, a lower grade of gold. Very nice, though. I like those. I like red jewelry. Okay, we did find the whiskey colored ones. Yay! I love those. They are glass too. So now we have two pairs, the purple and the whiskey. Very nice. Those are awesome. Another ring, Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse. Little mini in there. Okay. Then another match on the hoops. I have a crown. Oh, cute, cute, cute. A little crown brooch, very nice. That almost looks like the Rolex crown. I like that one. Very pretty. I like when we get brooches. We did get a match on the purple ones. Those are pretty. Are y'all taking shots every time I say pretty? Is that it? You should be counting and then those who get the count maybe you'll win a prize <laughs> <laughs> i 
I was thinking about that the other night, that I should have a contest on how many times I say something. So we'll see. I'm going to think about it now. <laughs> this had like a little knit something or the other, a little ball of yarn here. <laughs> a color. Oh, whiskey. <laughs> I convinced my, my sister to name her dog Whiskey because he was the color of whiskey, and she did. We love that little beagle. <laughs> All right, we got some more hoops. These aren't as bad as the other ones. They're not vertigree covered, so those will go into an earring a lot. Okay. Ooh, these are cute, and they still got their card. Just little fashion earrings, but they're very pretty. Just textured there, no stones to worry about. Made in China. Pretty though, I like them. You had a black and white horse, paint horse, and his registered name was Whiskey. See, it's a beautiful name, I love it. <laughs> I'll bet he was a beautiful horse. I love horses. Okay, another medal. But this is a pirate scar, and it is from the Pirate. The Pirates League Disney, I guess. The Pirates of the Caribbean, right? Cool, nice and heavy. I'll put that in a crafter lot. That would be cool. Miss Jude made a beautiful treasure chest for her grandson. Oh my gosh, she's so creative. That would have been a pretty embellishment for something like that. She made a, a pirate's loot box chest, treasure chest, and she filled it with jewelry and all kinds of fun things for her grandson to play with. I thought it was such an amazing idea. And she, she sent me some pictures of it. It was so, so cool. A little kid's bracelet. Okay, what do we have here? Some hoops. A wood bead, cute. I like this. Brass, very nicely made. And enameled in pink. And then that bead is, is wood, and it's carved. So that's kind of cool. All right. Here's a, another kid's bracelet. These are crystal beads, though. Cute. All right. Let's see what else is here. Match. Now this is a little different. I thought it was the other one, but it's a little different than the other one. I'm still waiting on a match on the Mother of Pearl as well. Don't think we had the, the match on that. The one that looks like this, but Mother of Pearl. I hope we find the match to that. Because that's a nice one. We do get a match on these, but these are very worn, and I think I put these in a crafter lot already. Hi, Walter. How are you? I loved your video the other day. It was so pretty. That I like your jewelry of the day videos. Those are awesome. All right. Little dangle earring. Kind of gold tone there. Here's another kind of a, kind of a Pandora style, but this one has a hook. And this one has, I don't know what it says. Let's see what it says up here. It says celebrate life on both sides it has some other kind of i think these are just silver tone let me check the clasp they are stainless actually they are marked here on the jump ring and they say hmk lyc stainless steel that's pretty celebrate life that's a pandora i love the pandora but i find them difficult to put on all right, we did get a match on the earrings. Now we have the chain as well. This was a long, a long bag, guys. We're not even done yet. I should have broken it up in two, but looks like there's more of you here anyway. So I'm glad you're here. Be sure and hit the thumbs up. Be sure and subscribe if you haven't. That's cute. Be sure and share the video. If you have social networks that you frequent, put it on your Facebook. Put it on your Instagram or wherever you can. I don't know if you can do it on Instagram, but I would appreciate it. Here's some feathers. That's cute. Dangle earring. Feather pendant. Nice. 
And oh, we did have this one earlier, I remember it. So we'll match that up later. I think that's gold tone. Ooh, look at this. Kind of a rocker chick look here. Let's take that out of here and see what this is. Tangles. Always tangles. Okay. Yeah, this is cool. Little spikes, gunmetal, rhinestones. That's kind of nice. Very nice. That's a nice one. All right, another stretch. We did get the match on the pink. Very, very feminine looking. Pretty earrings, pearls, and pink. These are glass. Little stretch. Another stretch. Another ring. Oh, no, this is... What is this? Oh, I thought it was another one of those rings. All right, this is a little fringe that looks clean, but it needs to be ironed out with some water. And some kind of metal. I don't know if that's a religious metal or what. Let me look at that. Yes, it is. It's from the, I think it's like a Vatican thing. Yes, and it has, very nice. Yeah, it's a religious metal on both sides. It has something in Latin and it's either Jesus or a saint there. I couldn't quite tell. Beaded in crystal, very cute. I like that. I think I'll send that to my granddaughter too. That's perfect for her. Okay, what else? Earring, silver. Two orange dangles here. These look like they match, but they're different. So put those aside. Okay, here is the match. These two matched up in a chandelier style, very nice. All right, more stretch, a ring, silver tone, missing the stone. And here are some carded fashion pieces, big, big hoops. They have glitter on them or something. They have like a glitter effect with a gloss over them. They're really glossy. Another watch, this one just says quartz, stainless steel back, don't see any maker on it. Very, very vertigree chain, I will very likely just recycle that. Don't want to throw that even into a crafter lot. Here's another one of these expandable bracelets. Here's a nice rhinestone. Does not look vintage to me, but very pretty. This is a nice harvest lot though. Harvest piece, it's even got some dents because it's got a lot of rhinestones I can use. A tangle, earring, bag of something in here. What is this? Okay, we do get a match on this one. What's in here? Candies. I think it says candies on here. Let me see. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to Hip Flip and Mama, the very entertaining and wonderful Kelly, who's in the chat, be sure and do so. She's got great content. This is cute, guys. Two little floating butterflies. Candy's brand from Kohl's. Be sure and hit um, her name there, or she can drop her link if she wants. And uh, go subscribe to her. You're going to not regret that for a minute. Those are cute. Those are cute earrings. Here's a little gold bangle. I'm sure it's just gold tone. Yes, but pretty. Very nice. 
and a gold chain. Oh, this is interesting. What is this? Oh, I think this is a pocket watch chain. That's what it looks like. It's nice and gold. I think that's what that is, because I think that hooks on somewhere on your belt or something. Yeah, that's what it has to be, right? What do you guys think? That's what I think. All right, another stretch with that little ball of yarn there. I don't know what that is. Kind of strange. Pearl stretch. Silver stretch. More silver hoops. These feel heavy, though. But usually this kind of... Uh, Closure it doesn't indicate sterling. They rarely make them like that. So, but they're nice. Nice to have some standard hoops. All right, we did get the match on this one. This is plastic, which is nice because it's not heavy. It won't kill you, your ears, right? Okay, we got the match on this one. This one was cute. These are crystal. Very nice. Black matched up. Oh, I like when that happens. When I pick them up and they're matched up. And there we go. Very nice. And look at this, guys. Another green. I mean, another earring this time in green. What a pretty teal, though. Very nice. So I hope we find the match to that one, too. Here is another earring. Gold tone. Oh, look at this. What is this? Oh, a, vel a little velvet choker. Pretty in pink, too. Look at that. It's got a dangle. What does the dangle say? It says Claire's. That's cute. That's cute for young girls. It looks, they look pretty with these. They really do. All right, a stretch ring. Wow, that's a nice big one, too. Look at that. It's like knit with little seed beads. Very cool. I like that. Comfortable, too. That feels very comfortable. Okay, what else do we have? We have some of these paper beads. Very cute. Pretty colors. I love orange and blue together. They remind me of Miami. I don't know why. I've never even been to Miami. But the colors are very Miami to me. Okay, let's see what it says. Made in Uganda. Nice. This was made in Uganda. Very, very nice. That's a little far from Miami, isn't it? But that's what it reminded me of. Cool. All right. Interesting earrings, guys. It's got a dangle that's tangled up in there. So I don't know how it goes. Hmm. A statement piece. Hadn't seen a statement piece in a while. I don't think I've ever seen one that looks like this. With beads and rhinestones kind of mixed up. I don't know. Pretty colors on there. That's interesting. Nothing missing so that's good did get the match on this one that was pretty that would should give off some good shine here it is so we did get a match nice more carded ones why these are heavy with little blackened rhinestones big hoops all right Here's a gold tone one. Silver post with kind of a abalone look, but I don't think it is. We have a broken one here. Kind of a costume piece. Oh, we found one of these the other day too. Look, this one has pearl dangles though. It's interesting. I wonder if you couldn't use that for a lanyard or something. Just dangle your ID badge at the end there. It looks like it would be comfortable. Sometimes the chains are not comfortable depending on how, how many keys you have to carry. I have to carry one and it's still kind of uncomfortable with beads. 
So that's nice. Put that in a crafter lot. We do get a match on this one. What is this? That's interesting. See that bead in there? Color looks kind of marking because it has that almost bluish hue that sterling gets when it's very tarnished. Yep, I found a mark. 925. Wow, I'm getting good at my detective skills here. See, right in there, you can see the mark for 925. And what gave it away to me, and I hope I find the other one, is the, again, like the bluish hue, purplish hue that tarnished, extremely tarnished sterling gets. And then that stone is just so tiny. It's like, why would anybody put a tiny little stone like that? Unless it was a precious metal, you know? Could be a ruby in there. Get the tester. <laughs> After I was making fun of Kelly last night with her little tester. I'm just joking with you, Kelly. You know, I love you. But, oh my goodness, I hope I find it. Here it is. Here it is. Yay. No, it's not. Or is it tangled? Yeah, it is. Okay, it's tangled with that one. There it is. So where's the other one, Thelma? You just put it down right now. Okay, fabulous. So we do have a pair of earrings in sterling silver. Very nice. These are very nice. Oh my gosh, that... Thing is stuck there. They're kind of a door knocker style, guys. See that? They're pretty. I really think those might be rubies in there too. And I'm gonna look farther, further for a maker's mark because they're very interesting. They are 925. And they got those little tiny red stones that to me look like rubies. They don't look like garnets. They look like rubies. We should see. All right. I will let you know. But very, very nice. We got some good pieces. And did you guys see this gorgeous bracelet? Oh, man, that one's nice, too. This one has the broken heart. No pun. Broken heart going in the crafter a lot. And we do have the match on the green ones. Very nice. Boy, we could put a new pair, a new color every day on those. We did get the match on these that had the dyed shell and the regular mother pearl shell. That's right here. I'll fish that out now since I see it and put that in a jewelry. I love the gold. Finally, I like some of those dyed shells. Sometimes they don't do a good job with the dye, but that one's nice. We did have a match on these. Good. I threw this in the crafter lot because I didn't know what it was. So now there's two of them in the crafter lot. Here are some other earrings. I like this bracelet here. It's marked, so it's not a very... It doesn't look like the better quality cloisonne or enamel, but it's kind of cool. I like the colors. And it's marked. Let's see what it says. What does it say? Stay here. It's got two initials, J M or I J. No, it's a um, it's a foreign language. I don't understand it, but there it is. There, it's a nice piece. It really is. And what I meant by not as nice is that it's not the same. Actually, I, I misspoke. It is nice. It's not the same as the typical uh, cloisonne bangles that we usually find. There's a lot more work on this. It's almost like a 2 or 3D effect on some of these flowers. So it's cute. I like it. I really do. Let me see if there's any stick to the magnet. Oh. It does not stick to the magnet check on that one too maybe it's gold plated or filled or something we'll see that uh, foreign language stamp has me intrigued about it so I will definitely be looking at that closer we found some of these last time some of them said bam and zoom and they're kind of cool I don't think the other ones had prices this was $13 at Briar Grove at one time so those are cool 
to add that to a jewelry lot. That'd be cute. Here's a nice piece. It needs a little cleaning. What does it say? Paris. It really needs a cleaning, though, all around, including the metal. So we'll see about that and bring it back. Okay, I'll put that in the cleaning. If it doesn't come clean, we'll just have to put it in a crafter lot. All right, here's a earring, another chandelier style, coral colors. Yeah, the zap from the comic books, and another one said, you know, boom and so forth. There was about three pieces in the other jewelry jar that I opened from the same store. Oh my gosh, I thought it was a bangle. That's a, an earring, guys. That's an earring. <laughs> That looks like it would hurt. It really does. More bangles. More of these little bangles. I'll put these in a crafter lot. And another one of these with the little interwoven, with the woven fabric. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I might have to take some of these out and see what they look like. See if the metal is pretty enough to stand on its own. Okay, I know we had this one that's tangled up here. This is a lightweight one, kind of a gunmetal, so I do have that one matched up. But I don't remember seeing this one, so we'll stick that in the jar and match it up. Oh, here it is. Two of them. Two of them now, so we do have them matched. Wonderful. Okay. And look, we found the other... Didn't we just find this earlier? <laughs> or did I do it in a recorded video? I know I saw this one before. All right, that's almost at the end of our little bag here. We did find the Mother of Pearl dangles that I really liked. They're so lightweight and so pretty. This is my perfect earring. When they're impactful yet comfortable. Oh, those are cute Mother of Pearl discs. Chandelier waterfall style, I guess. I would call this more of a waterfall waterfall style. Love it. Glad I found that. We did match these up as well. Kind of a brass. Let me get these off my magnet. <laughs> a lot of stuff stuck on the magnet. All right. We have some gold posts. We have a stretch. Ma no, it's not stretch. It's just some kind of a little bangle. So those are nice. We have a broken piece. That's the first broken piece. No, this is the one that goes on the prayer box. So the prayer box was broken. That's one of the pieces there. I'll put that in the crafter lot. And this is the one that I found earlier. And now we have a match. But I think I had said that yeah, that I would love to see this as a necklace or with maybe some sterling hooks because these are too pretty to have on those those hooks. Look at that. It's got the seagulls. It's got some sand dunes, the sky. I love it. That's really some good work on that. It deserves better hooks, though. So I'm going to have my husband repair those with some better hooks, maybe some stainless steel, simple hooks. They're nice. Or a necklace. Yeah, I could make a couple of necklaces, too. Here's the other shell. We did get a match on these. That's a pretty one. I like it. Kind of a copper die on that one. And let me see. We did get some studs matched up. And we got some more earrings. And what else? Here's a gold hoop. That is Mother of Pearl on the birds. But there's abalone down here. This looks like abalone down here. So it's both. I believe this is Mother of Pearl at the top. And I don't know what the birds are. I'm thinking they could be onyx or maybe they're just, I don't know. Maybe that was just painted. But that's such a beautiful... That's really nice work on that. I like those. Okay, we have a gold hoop. 
so far it looks like it's by itself. We did have a crystal heart. This is glass. Very nice faceted crystal here. That's pretty. That would make a nice um, purse charm as well. It's very weighty. Nice cord on it too. So that's pretty. Well, someone would told me once, and maybe you guys who are a lot more astute about it, or knowledgeable rather, can also enlighten us that abalone and mother of pearl are basically the same. They're just from different parts of the shell. So when you say abalone, some people say they're almost interchangeable. Okay, so I did find the gold dangle here that I thought was that I was curious about too because of that hook and because it's not magnetic these are darling they are really pretty I'm excited about testing these I really am though the hooks actually look worn but the chain does not and neither one of them were magnetic so I'm excited the pauses shall I was I was told the difference is just color mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying I mean everybody has their school of thought so please let us know in the comments come back and leave comments in the video whenever you can because everybody learns from everybody we did have a match on these and we did get a match on this star thingy which i also wanted to take apart because the thing is like really worn the star is not bad And that's plastic. Sometimes that plastic doesn't clean up very well. We have some tangles here. So let's look through these. Wow, what is this? We got a flip-flop earring. Some green rhinestone. Wow, that's an embellished flip-flop earring. It's got flowers and everything. How interesting. Looks like 68 people are here, guys. Be sure and hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell before you leave so you can be notified when I put up a live video and you can come and chat with us or when I put up a recorded video, you'll see the new ones as soon as they come out, as soon as I drop them, okay? This is cute. Lots of chains in here, different colors, more, mostly antiqued gold, actually two colors, antiqued and gunmetal. So that's nice. Okay. We have a piece of an earring here. Very nice stones, though. Look at that. You know what? This looks like a piece of a bracelet. This was a tennis bracelet or something that broke. And they're baguettes. Let me look at this. Let me look at that closure here. Let's see if it's not sterling or something. No, nope, I don't see any mark on it. Let me look on the back of the links, though. What a shame that it broke. It's such a pretty bracelet. And I tell you what, the rhinestones almost look like diamonds. They're pretty cloudy. Let's bring out the tester, Kelly. See, I make fun of Kelly, and, she, and I'm always pulling out this tester, too. Let's see what it says. I can't hardly see. No, nope, no movement. You can't hardly see on it. And it's touching that metal right there. Can you guys see? They're small, but they're so cloudy. I'm like, this can't be. It could just be dirty, dirty CZs though, right? And it's hard to get in there. Nope, I can't even get in there, guys. I could see they were cloudy with the loop. I'll have to do it later. We're way into, what, an hour and a half already? All right, here's a pretty earring. Here's the tangled. Well, I thought it was all tangled. It's just kind of a draping array of beads here. They are tangled, though. So I'm not going to bother to untangle them all. But you get the gist. It's a long necklace, very pretty beads. 
Looks like they put a knot there. And then this is what goes around your neck. So I may put that in a bead lot so I don't have to untangle it. Okay. We did get the match on the champagne gold colored earring. Nice. We got a stretchy religious Jerusalem is what it says. Then it has the, the Virgen de Guadalupe here. Mary. And we got a dangly earring. We got a chain that doesn't look like sterling. looks like silver tone. It is broken. Crafter lot. Dangle earring again. Another one of these bracelets. Here's another tangled couple of necklaces. We're almost done, guys. What in the world? I think these are already matched, too. Looks like two tangled up earrings in here. They're pretty. They are very nice. I like them. Okay, will we get these untangled, guys? I really want to see if they're broken or if, oh, there they come. Nice, I love when that happens. These are cute. I like the way the crystals are free like that. They're just kind of hinged in the middle, a little hook. They're pretty, these are very pretty. And they are crystal or glass, they're not crystal glass, I don't know, but they're not plastic. Very happy to dance. When they get untangled, it's such a thrill, isn't it? <laughs> Especially when you don't take an hour to do it. Okay, this is a black one, black metal hair tangled up with an antiqued one, and I'm not gonna do this one right now. It will be here another hour. I will do it later, I will show it to you when I get it done. Oh, look, here's a piece of that bracelet, I bet. No, these are bigger than what was on that bracelet. This little stone is much bigger, and we did get a match on this one. Right here. I showed you that watch, and I think that's it. Well, we scored, guys, sterling silver here. I'm absolutely positive this is sterling, and I don't know if that's glass or blue topaz. That is a genuine pearl. It is marked on the, on the safety chain. It's a fabulous find. These are sterling silver. I believe these are rubies. They don't look like, like garnets. They really have that pinkish hue of a ruby. Nice, nice find here, too, and unbelievable. Another James Avery. Popped out of there, super, super excited. This will more than pay for the bag. And the rest is gravy. <laughs> and the gravy part is hanging out with you guys. Having the fun of going through this, digging through this treasure hunt with me is always a pleasure. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up before you go. Don't forget to come back for another one. I still got a thrift haul I'm going to do for you, possibly tomorrow. Thanks again, guys. I really do appreciate it. Bye-bye.